Beso. Ngineigit. Beso. Hello, friends. We back for another JoJo reaction. So, in the spirit of finishing part six, we are going to be checking out all the endings. Um, I had thoughts of doing this like early in the in the series, but my friend said it's gonna hit a bit harder if you watch the if you finish part six first. So I was like, okay, okay, let's check it out. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. I love this song, by the way. Wait, who is this? Is this Jonathan? Huh. Yo! Mr. Steve Wagon Foundation himself. Oh, we got George. George Josta. Yeah, this is really plot part one if that's the case. And we got Dio. Ooh. Was this like the ghouls he used to attack? Oh yeah, so the blood activates or the mask activates with the blood. Very interesting, very interesting. Um somewhat unique right unique um unique progression to the ending right uh the whole pan out or pan to the side is not that unique um it's that it's been done before but it's not as common as the typical endings and in this case there is like a like a plot element going on that you know the blood is traveling and it eventually hits the the stone mask activating it Oh, we start the second opening from the first. Yeah, we got Joseph. We get like what are those? Are those supposed to be like the Yo, is that Caesar? Is that Caesar? I'd imagine they give Caesar color, right? Yo, Van Strohein. Yeah, you see like the the German ships try right? when when they uncovered like the pillar man. Is that like Santana? Yep. Old man speed wagon. And then the Red Star of Asia. Like the plot element at the end, right? Okay, we're part three now. The arrow, right? The stand arrow. The stand arrow that we did not know as of part three. Because so stand arrows was introduced in part four. Oh, way, yo. And we see like the tarot cards, right? Oh, 
that is nice. Hierophant green as like his shadow. Muhammad Abdul. Walk like an Egyptian. I mean, we're in Egypt, right? And then Hermit Purple. Man, I miss Paul Nareff. Outside part 5. <laughs> so yeah, this is like without Iggy yet. No Iggy yet here. The first part, right? Walk like an Egyptian. So I guess this is the one with Iggy now. Okay, we got some poses. Like, I wonder if the scenes we're seeing here are like places we saw in the in the show itself, right? Yeah, this seemed to be like the most um, the most uh, bland uh, ending so far. Oh, oh, guys! Okay, okay, okay. They gave us something, right? This is the picture Jotaro looks at at part five, right? When when Koichi was uh calling Jotaro about um Jorno like you know is he a friend or not and then Jotaro just looks at the picture of the squad right the best crusaders that was nice <laughs> Oh wow. I forgot about this guys. So interesting, even Nah, I guess it would be the same. Yeah, we see like um We see like the encounters uh, in the background, right? When they were trying to like uh Impersonate Jotaro. Oingo, Oingo. Ah, they got messed up. Oh, whole horse. Whole horse and Boingo. Okay, okay. The Emperor. My goal is to be number two. Ah. Yeah, he's talking about my stand is the manga.
Yeah, he's getting revenge for his brother, right? Dude, I miss Whole Horse. <laughs> like, he should have really turned to uh, the Crusaders. Imagine if we got Whole Horse in part, part 5. Right? Whole Horse and uh, Paul Naref. That would have been fun. Okay, okay. We're moving, we're moving. We're at part four now. Wait, I know this song. This is a Savage Garden song, right? Oh, wow. The colorful city of Mario. Okuyasu, Keiko, I need you, I want you. Oh! <laughs> I knew it. I knew this looked familiar, right? I saw this in the in the part six opening one reaction. I'm like, I know I've seen that logo before, but I thought this logo was from uh, the the brother of Okuyasu. It was actually uh, actually Josuke. Yeah, and we see like the killer queen. Okay, we're in part five. Very R N B. Woo! It's so sexy. I need your body. Tonight. Wow, what an what a weird abakio pose, right? Dude, this is so sexy. Look at that pose. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. Ashamed we only got one uh, Fugo fight. Like, a lot of the poses are somewhat believable. But yeah, like the Abakyo and the Trish one, I'm, I'm not feeling those poses. It, it seems out of character. And what's this supposed to be? Okay, okay. Part two. Horny? <laughs> oh, wow. Sex in you be all I see. I need your body tonight. Freaking you, Joe Dissy. What must I do? Baby! Oh, 
Vento Oreo. Giorgio. Interesting. Interesting to note there, part 4 only had like one ending and part 5 had three. Two versions of one. Wait, wait, wait. These are stands. Right? This is, um... Holy shit. Black Sabbath. And then this was like the... This was like... Was it Soft Machine? Right? And this was the one with the... The tapping. This is... What is this? Uh, this is Little Feet. Right? With the, with the blade. I don't know who this is. Who was after Little Feet? Because it seems like there's an order going on here. Right? Was this Man in the Mirror? Yeah, maybe Man in the Mirror. And then you have the turtle, right? And then this is a... Uh, who's this? Thankful Death? Oh, this is Beach Boy, the hawk. And then who is this? Oh, you see the computer, right? Baby face. Yeah, this is baby face. I see. And then a uh, white album, right? White album. And then this is... Wait, who is this? Oh, this is Talking Head. This is Clash? Holy shit. How, how am I remembering all this? This song is intense though. Oh, this is... Um, Purple Haze? Was it Purple Haze? Yeah, I think Purple Haze and then Moody Blues. You have uh, the aircraft Ever Smith. And then you have uh, Zipperman. And then you have King Crimson and the uh, Six Bullets. Sex Pistols. And then Gold Experience. Interesting, no Spice Girl, huh? That is interesting. Okay, we're at part six. Distant Dreamer. I don't understand why the visuals are like this, like we're getting nothing but an ocean, right? Just stones and ocean, right? Interesting. Is there something here we're not seeing? Huh. 
So they decided to make a second version. Interesting. Okay, okay, we're underwater. But is there something significant here? Or are they just flexing like the 3D? 3D CGI. I think that was new too, the bird. Right? Ooh! We're back to the roundabout? Oh, it's Jonathan and the... Was it Angelo? The dog? And then Joseph and Caesar. Oh, we're getting everything. I guess this is also the last one because there's like less than a minute left. Oh, wow. This is what they were telling me. That it, the payoff, right? The Crusaders in the desert. Ah, Paul Nereth. The colorful town of Moria. Yeah, you see, you see Rohan there, Koichi, and we go to part five. What scene do we get? Oh, the betrayal, Pashon's betrayal. Oh wow! They gave us the last scene! Okay, I guess we'll stop there. Oh wow, Jolene in the car. You had... Um, who's this? Anastasia and then Hermes. You know, the water in the previous ending FF is there. Like, they should have just showed FF there. <laughs> that would have made sense, right? And then you have Emporio, like, out of his mind. Or Emporio was like, oh my god, it's the same people. Not exactly the same people, but... You 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 get that feeling that, yeah, we... You know, destiny. We, we were always meant to meet each other. Wow. Wow. That was... That's poetry right there. Very, very artistic. Wow. So yeah, that's gonna be the <laughs> reaction. Just an amazing show, and I and I can't wait for part seven. Right? I've been watching JoJo for like more than a year, or uh, maybe even more than two years. Maybe more than two years, because it is like a long show, right? So that being said, uh. We're going to be back in part 7, so stay tuned. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. Become a channel member. Uh, put some besos in the comments, guys. Because you know your boy needs a little... And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.